Hi everybody, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass and I'm a targeted individual. For those of you who don't know what targeted individuals are, it is people like myself who have been chosen for whatever reason uh, to be used in extrajudicial, non-consensual human experimentation into mind control, nanotechnology, and coercive technology. Um, for those of you who are victims, targets, you know full well what we're talking about here. Um, the reason I like to make this video is because uh, I just had a conversation with my parents. My mother, who's in her 70s, and my father, who's in his 80s. Um, these are people from an earlier generation who didn't grow up with computers and science fiction was just a new genre when they were children. Um, my parents have a hard time understanding what it is that's happened to us and in fact when this was going on and they were drugging us with LSD like drugs and we were infested with crazy bugs and and we didn't know what was going on uh, you know, the ideas were put into our head that it was our parents, my parents were doing this to me. I mean, you know, I went through every iteration of what this could possibly be. Uh, and the mind control, the way it works is they're able to whisper into your head and you think it's your own thoughts and you're high on LSD, so you sort of go along thinking it's your own thoughts. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say about my parents is they understand that something is going on in our lives, my girlfriend and I. They don't really understand what, they know it's something horrible, they can't get their minds around it. Uh, therefore, when I try to explain to my mother, you know, what the gang stalking is, or, or the most recent incident of intimidation and whatever, she says, I'm sorry, I gotta get off the phone, I, I can't deal with this horrible stuff, you know, so. Uh, to resolve her cognitive dissonance, my mother pretends it's not happening. I, I, I don't want to know about it. It's not real. Uh, my father is a little more there for me in that he accepts that something horrible is happening in my life. He doesn't know what to do about it, and he doesn't know what to say about it. He listens thoughtfully for a little bit, and then he says he has to get off the phone. If I was telling my parents I was dying of cancer, Mom, Dad, I'm dying of cancer. I have cancer of the whatever, and my doctor says I have, you know, a year to live, six months, whatever. I think they could wrap their heads around that a little better. When I say Mom and Dad, I'm weak, I'm tired, I'm aging fast, I'm depressed, you know, I have people talking into my brain all the time, I have subliminal uh, suicide programming when I sleep, I have remote neural connectivity, I have people gang stalking me, I've been dosed with LSD like drugs daily for years now, some sort of secret operation, the police won't help, the FBI won't help, etc, 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 the same thing that all of you targets have undergone, you know, being zapped with microwave weapons and and being electrocuted and poisoned and covered in chemtrails and infested with nanites and horrible insects and covered in sores and, you know, basically age 20 years and a couple of years. I mean, this targeting will do that to anyone. It will break down anyone. It will destroy the health of and kill anyone. It makes you look like you've been, you know, a drug addict for 20 years, or, or living in a, in, a, in a hole in the ground or something, you know, it makes you look like you're sick and dying, because you are, look at me, look at my face, look at my eyes, do I look like I'm making this up for entertainment value, you know? I mean, I could sit here and I could talk to you rationally about this. Uh, I, I, I had an IQ that was in the 97th percentile when I was tested last. Uh, I know that my IQ has diminished greatly due to the neurotoxins and, and chemtrails, poisoning and nanites and mind control and sleep deprivation. And, I mean, just look at me, man. I, I, I look ravaged. 
I am ravaged. I have been ravaged by this. These people have stolen my life for their science. And, uh, you know, I, I try to tell people what's going on here. This is uh, something that may affect everyone. It may well be true that the government has turned on the population and is spraying, you know, chemicals, biological weapons, nanotechnology on the entire population. Whether or not this chemtrail nanotechnology stuff has anything to do with making the mind control devices work better, I can't prove. Um, but it seems to me that they're connected somehow. Everybody who gets exposed to this chemtrail spider web stuff that falls out of the sky seems to wind up with Morgellons disease or Morgellons syndrome. Fibers coming out of their skin, bugs coming out of their skin, feeling like you have bugs crawling under your skin. I've had this. It's horrible. Um, all kinds of crazy creatures you've never seen in any book coming out of you and going into you and things shooting out of your skin and out of your head and things jumping all over. It's, it's insane. You know, creatures, I've seen creatures that you can't see with your naked eye. They have to be stuck to a piece of tape before you can see them. They may fluoresce under some kind of light or something. I mean, this is some crazy technology we've been exposed to. And uh, from what I can tell, there's a test for more gallons. It involves taking some grape juice or red wine. And you can rinse your mouth, brush your teeth. You take the grape juice or the red wine, you put it in your mouth... And you swish it around for about two, three, four minutes, as long as you can stand it. And then spit it into a cup, a white cup, or a plate, or a saucer, a bowl, or something, and have a look at it. And tell me if you don't find what everybody else who's taken this test finds, which is a bunch of grape juice, a little bit of spit, and a whole bunch of clumpy, fibrous, dark red, stained something or other that has come out of your mouth. Now, you shouldn't have fibrous stuff coming out of your mouth, as far as I know. And I don't think it's a result of the grape juice, and I don't think it's, you know, it may have something to do with the tannin in the grape juice, or the, you know, the, the I don't know, the acidity of it, or the basicness of it, or, or you know, I don't know. But also the, the color of the grape juice, the red wine, stains these fibers, whatever they are, silicon-based, I don't know what they're made out of. But uh, try this test at home. And tell me if 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 I'm crazy, you know? Am I just making this up? Am I just some crazy guy on YouTube who's out of his gourd? I wish that were the case. I really do. Because uh, it would be a lot easier to deal with this if it was just mental illness. You know, I look at myself and I see the deterioration. And I remember all the horrible things that we went through. The people following us around, the, the crazy bugs, the druggings, you know, the being so dosed out of my mind that I could only curl up in a ball and rock back and forth for days. You know, these FBI people follow us, these kids follow us, people throwing stuff at us. I mean, it was insane. Getting electrocuted, people spraying me with stuff on the back of my head everywhere I went. Probably more drugs. And laughing about it, you know, fucking eating eating crazy worms in the food. And, and you know, everywhere we went being turned away. And just, you know, people following us everywhere and threatening to kill me and blow me up. And... On and on and on and on and on and on, you know. Um, so that's pretty much where it is with this. And um, I don't know. Good luck to all of you.